Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee again. This is the second video and I will really show you how to work with Scan Studio. It's an open source application. It's a free application which you can use to record your screen of a desktop or a laptop. Okay. So <clears throat> this is an open source application. So what I've done is I have downloaded this particular application in a portable version. Okay. If I go to the install directory, in the install directory I have installed uh, as Scan Studio Portable. Okay. And if I go to this directory, all my apps, I've downloaded the portable version here and you can right click and open it and it will um, ask a very simple questions and uh, options to really install the application, right? And once it is installed, you can go to this directory and right click and open it, okay? So once you have opened, this application will get open. And in the button, you can see there is a record button, pause button or stop button. There are different um, other options as well. I would recommend you to really go with them and test it out. Okay. In the file section, you can see um, there is a record button and pause, stop, or exit. Okay. And in the region, uh, there are two things uh, which is uh, majorly used, which I majorly use it actually. One is the region, another is full screen. Okay. The region, if we select a region, that means we can really mark a particular section to record the screen or in the full window we can see okay uh, the full window get recorded okay there are some options as well which you need to look in at the first attempt which is like uh, the do not record audio which is set up uh, by default okay you need to choose as a record audio from microphone uh, so that you can record your audio as well as I'm doing it along with the video okay and there are some tool options as well which you need to look at okay and effect and view okay so um, once the recording is done it's very simple okay you need to go uh, to this uh, tray and you can right click and stop or pause video or you can um, do it from here as well okay so once you click stop uh, recording okay so it will ask to put a file location file name and, a, and saving location so you can choose uh, the location where you want to save and please uh, make sure you're putting a file uh, name as uh, your recording dot avi okay so avi is the format on which it is uh, saving the files once you click save okay so it will uh, show some conversion here and until it get converted it will show 100% and open another pop-up window where a camp studio player is there it will try to play the application uh, sorry play the recording so that you can see whatever uh, you have recorded had come uh, properly or not okay so uh, this is it and this is uh, this is uh, hopefully really informative for you and I would recommend you to really check out the link below of my website which is AIKID support and there will be more videos waiting for you so let's hit it okay best of luck